Hello guys, this is a cool problem. Um, look at this equation. We have something weird here. This is weird. I hope you agree with that. So, um, how do you pronounce this? If you don't know about tetration before, you could have a problem pronouncing that in the first place. So this is pronounced as the second tetration of S is equal to five. This kind of problem is um, slightly different from the regular um, power, okay? This is not power. You can call it superpower, or you can call it um, power tower. It's um, generally known as tetration, okay? So um, how do you solve this kind of equation? Well, when you have superpower like this, what this means is you, um, What this means is x to the x power, and in this case, is equal to 5. So with that out of the way, I think the equation is now easier to solve. So this is known as superpower, or the power tower. Well, how do you solve this kind of equation? So you will agree with me that you are going to need Lambert W function to solve this kind of um, problem. Well, there are other lessons on Lambert W function on this channel, so you can look into them. So, um, and the first thing you do in cases like this is um, it's reasonable to introduce the natural log to both sides. Well, that does not solve the problem completely, but in a little bit, you're going to see the reason why we are doing that. So, if I introduce natural log to both sides, um, we're going to be having the natural log of um, x to the x power is equal to the natural log of 5. So, there is a law of a rule of logarithm that says that when you have a power here, you can bring it behind here. And then this comes here as x natural log of s equals the natural log of 5. Well, the reason why I'm doing this in the first place is because I intended to solve this using the Lambert W function. This is also called product log. Well, what does this imply? When you have... Um, when you have an expression in the form x e to the x, if you take the Lambert W function of an expression in this form, the solution is x. Okay? So, if you have an expression in this form, the solution for it is x. And that is what I'm trying to do in the first place so that I can rewrite this expression in this form. And so I can obtain this. Now, I'm taking advantage of this here. Well, there's something that could help here. And that is, look at, um, when you have x, you have something, anything it could be. Let's say x, okay? This is the same thing as the um, taking the exponent of the natural log of s. You agree, if you take the exponent of the natural log of s, it gives you s. So, well, let us let us make use of that here. Therefore, I'm replacing the s I have here with e to the natural log of s. Okay? And by so doing, this becomes e to the natural log of x. And I have natural log of s here already. So, I'm putting natural log of x and multiplied by you will notice that this is now in this form. So on this side, I have the natural log of 5. So what should I do next? Let us introduce the Lambert W function or product log to both sides of the equation. And so we have this. So at this point, recall here, when an expression is in this form, this function this part here is going to be the solution and as you can see the natural log we have here is going to be the the um solution for this expression here so this is reduced to the natural log of s equals to the lambert w function all the natural log of five well at this point how do we get rid of this natural log here we can do that by taking the exponent of both sides and that reduces this to x, right? Just like what we have here. So, and that is equal to the, the taking the exponent of the, the Lambert W function, product log of um, 5. 
well to get the um solution for this you can uh, if your calculator can um can compute this you can uh, input that into your calculator to obtain the um final solution so or uh, you can use the wolfram alpha on the internet and but generally as you can see what this simply mean is what we have here can be interpreted this way there are other lessons on this channel on that so i don't want to waste time on that so i hope you get that so see you in the next one thank you